And with that, we move on to Check Me Out, a weekly showcase of Nigerians doing wonderful things around the world. Uh, Nengi Omuku is a contemporary artist who uses art as therapy for mental illness. Her work has been exhibited in London, New York, Atlanta, and Lagos. Let's check her out. I'm Nengi Omuku. I'm a visual artist based in Lagos, Nigeria. Check me out. I was born in Wari in 1987. Yes, I'm old. Um, and we moved around a lot. My parents moved around a lot with me because um, of their, their work. And I went to Loyola Jersey College for six years. That's where I went to secondary school. And it was the first year I got into Loyola, my first engagement in an art class with drawing, that I realized I was going to be an artist. And I was like, this is what I'm going to do for the rest of my life. I did this art competition in Abuja. It was a national art competition. And I handed in a painting and I got the first prize and it was a very exciting experience and I got to meet the Queen and um, she shook my hand and she encouraged me to continue studying art. I graduated at 16 and then I, I came to England and I did A-levels for two years in Dorset and then I got admitted into the Slade School of Fine Arts where I spent six years, four for a bachelor's and two for my master's and then I came back immediately after. And at first there was like a major culture shock. Um, it was the weather, it was the, the, the language in a way, although I speak English, just like understanding this very, very strong British accent. And um, so it was a couple of things. And again, I was away from home and from people that I was familiar with. So those were the challenges I faced. But eventually I was able to like adapt to the society and figure it out eventually. When I moved back to Nigeria, I, I, in Ibadan, in Bodija, there was a woman I met walking in the middle of the street, in the very center. And I sort of questioned like why she was doing that. And when I met this woman, I realized that there are, there are issues bigger than me. And it was from that point that I decided that I wanted to start painting about a state of mind, as opposed to painting about a physical representation of a person. She was my muse, that woman. Um, I didn't take her pictures, but the first painting I did in Nigeria, in Bodija Eris, was inspired by that encounter with her. And since then, all of my work has been about painting what it feels like, a certain state of mind, whether it's anxiety or whether it's um, whatever, you know, might be going on in the mind. From Ibadan, with my one painting, I came to Porakot and started painting from a shipping container. I got into a group show, I think in 2014 or 2015, and um, a gallerist came to my shipping container and saw the painting and said to me, we would like to put it in an exhibition. And so I had a solo show eventually, and, and Bodija Era sold. I don't know who to, but I've been looking for the painting for a while. I want to buy it back because it was just very, it was just very important to me. And it was, it was more, for me, it was more than just a painting. It was like a life-changing moment. If you forge a path for yourself, if you forge, you know, your own language and your own way of communicating with the world, eventually, people will, will tap into it if you're consistent. My name is Nengi Omuku. I'm a visual artist. You have just checked me out. Great work, Nengi. Let's now take a quick reminder of our top story today. Just Nigeria assesses the impact of xenophobic attacks on Africa's largest economies. Do join us again next week where we'll be checking out Remy Dada, the architect and designer who loves transforming ordinary spaces into beautiful and functional environments. Don't forget to follow all the conversations happening right now on our Twitter page at Just Nigeria TV. And for more on any of our stories, visit bbc.com forward slash Africa and channels tv.com. That's where we're wrapping up the program today. Thanks for staying with us. Until next time, I am Wale Fakile. Goodbye.